Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Bean here, and today I am coming to you with a book haul. This is my book haul for April. Now I have a lot of books that I'm going through this month, so you may notice I'm going to go through them quite quickly. I'm not going to talk a lot about them, otherwise we're going to be here all day. So guys, grab a drink, grab a snack, we're going to be here for a little while. And so I'm going to start off with the subscription boxes that I received. The first book I'm going to start off with is the Spearcraft book for the quarterly box, and that is The Winter Duke by Claire Eliza Bartlett. I don't know a lot about this book except for it is a gorgeous cover, and I believe it is a retelling of sorts. So... If you have, if you are interested in this book, you should check out my unboxing because I do read the description and I get a little bit more into it. So the next two books are actually from Book of the Month. And the reason it's two is because I am a Book of the Month BFF. So I have been with them for over a year and it is my birthday month. So I was able to get two books for the price of one. And the first one I got is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Um, I have been looking to get into thrillers and so this one caught my eye and I did hear about it also on a podcast that I have been listening to. So I have high hopes for this book. And the other book I got from Book of the Month is The Library of Legends by Janie Chang. Now this one is a historical fiction, I believe it might be a historical fantasy even, and I've been looking to read more international books as well, so this one definitely qualified, and I love this cover. It is beautiful, so I'm excited for this one as well. The next few books I'm going to talk about are books that I myself ordered off of Amazon, or I pre-ordered, so getting right into it, I have the fourth installment of the house versions of Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is the Hufflepuff edition. I am slowly but surely collecting all of these. The fifth one, I believe, comes out later this year, so I'm pretty excited for that. They are alternating the covers being black and yellow for Hufflepuff, and it's got my uh, scarf colors in here, so I'm pretty excited. Too bad I got this one too late to read it for our reread, but next reread, I will reread the house books. The next two books I got, I got because I was silly and didn't realize that they had already come out, and that is The Mortal Word by Genevieve Cogman and... The Secret Chapter by Genevieve Cogman. These are books five and six of her Invisible Library series. Book seven is coming out, I believe, at the end of the year. And so I got these two so that way I can catch up on the series. I am currently reading The Lost Plot, which is part of my TBR for April. And so these two are on my list to read before the end of the year. So... I now have them in my hands, although one's a lot smaller than the other, and I'm really not sure what happened there. But they're really pretty covers, and I love this theme is continuing. The next book I got is one that I have... I think I'm going to start collecting these. I haven't fully decided yet, but that is Mostly Void, Partially Stars, Welcome to Night Vale, Episode Volume 1 by Joseph Fink and Jeff Jeffrey Kramer. Now, this is the written basically script of all of the Welcome to Night Vale podcast episodes for the first season, which I have fallen in love with this podcast. If you have not heard me talk about this, you really should just go check it out. It is creepy. It is very raw. And it is it is so much fun. It's got some really dark humor in there, and I absolutely love it. So I am probably going to go through this eventually, kind of like with the Harry Potter books and with Fantastic Beasts. I just would like to read it as well as listen to it. That way I can pick up on anything that I might have missed before. And the next book is the one book that I pre-ordered that came in this month, and that is Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett. I read the first book, Foundry Side, when it first came out, and now this one is finally out. And I say finally because this is, I think it's fourth release date that it has had. This was supposed to come out last year and it didn't. And it really irritated me that it didn't come out last year. And then it was supposed to, it was supposed to come out at first in the summer. And then it was supposed to come out in the winter. And then it was supposed to come out in January and then February. And then it came out this month instead. So I'm really glad that it didn't get pushed again. I do have some pre-order incentives that I will be getting for this that I'm very excited for. So keep an eye look out on my bookstagram uh, page so that way you can check and see what I will be getting for this one. I am super excited. I am going to have to reread Foundry Side because it has been a year and a half 
since I read that book. But I am super excited because I remember absolutely loving that story. This is a high fantasy story set in a city where what I remember is fire, darkness, and explosions. And there's a little, there's some magic, and there's stealing, there's thieves, there's murder, there's blood, guts, and gore. There's all that good stuff. So highly recommend this series, and I'm so excited to have the sequel. The next 15 books that I have here to show you are all books that I got in a book outlet order that I placed. And, <laughs> well, these books, um, basically I bought them because I was in a bit of a slump as far as reading and as far as my mental health goes. And some people will shop for clothes. I shop for books personally, and so I have a whole bunch here. And I have a, another order that might be coming next month, so... We'll see. All right, so we're just gonna start. We're gonna go through through these randomly. They're literally organized by how I took them off of my shelves. So <laughs> luckily the series are together, but that's about it. So I'm not gonna get into each of these books, but I will kind of gloss over some of the overarching plots of the series or the books themselves if I know them. Others of them were definitely covered by, so it is what it is. That's just me. The first book from this order is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden. Now this is the first book in I believe what is a duology, the first book being Wolf by Wolf, and the second book is Blood for Blood. I already have Blood for Blood, but I needed Wolf by Wolf, and I really like this. This isn't the cover that I wanted, but it'll work for now, and that's fine. I do plan on reading this. What I know about this is it's set in Nazi Germany and it follows someone who survived one of the death camps and that's really all I know about it and there's a motorcycle and it's got wolf in the cover in the title so I was willing to give it a shot and I've heard very good things about it so I am intrigued. The next book that I have is The Supervillain and Me by Danielle Banas. Uh, Banas? Banas? I'm sorry I don't know how to say that. And I have just seen this book kind of floating around and super villains I am intrigued by. Anything comic book related I am intrigued by. So basically this follows a girl named Abby whose older brother is a superhero. She has never really wanted to follow in his footsteps as being a superhero but then she meets the super villain and ends up befriending him and discovering a whole new side to herself. So I am intrigued by this. I think this sounds adorable. I think this is going to be something that's going to remind me of of renegades a little bit as far as the good guy bad guy kind of sides and who's who's good who's bad like the whole fight over that so I'm intrigued by this. The next book I have is a middle grade and it is a little bent which is really unfortunate but um, it's called The Good Thieves by Catherine Rundell and now this is a middle grade novel and since I am reading more middle grades I decided this would be a good one to get. Uh, this is about, this is a basically kind of a Robin Hood spinoff where there's a bunch of kids that are robbing from rich in order to help the poorer families. That's all I know about it, so I am intrigued. It's a short read, but I'm excited for it. I have finally completed collecting a series, and now I have all of the books to the Witchlands series, and that is book two, Wind Witch, and this is by Susan Dennard. I have all of the other books in the series, and now I have this one. So this is very happy, and now I can read the whole thing. I can binge through the entire thing, and I'm very excited to do that. Next, I also got a sequel, and I got The Devil's Thief. I've been trying to get this sticker off, and it just doesn't want to come off. So, and this is by Lisa Maxwell. I have the first book. I've been planning on reading it for like two years now but I will be reading it soon and now that I have the sequel I really don't have an excuse not to read it and since the third book in this newly dubbed trilogy has gotten a cover it is friggin gorgeous and I am so excited to read that one as well so all I know about this is that there are artifacts and a thief steals them and it's magic filled and fantastical and I am here for it. The next two books I have are the second and third books in a trilogy, and that is The Speaker, book two, and book three, The Storyteller. These two books are by Tracy Chi. These are the second and third books in the Reader Trilogy, or the Sea of Ink and Gold series. I'm not sure which one it's called, because it's, a, depending on which cover you look at, it depends on what series it says it's in, so I'm not sure about that one. But these covers are friggin' 
gorgeous. Like, honestly, I love these covers so much. And again, I will be able to binge this series and I'm so excited because I now have all of these collections of, of series that I can just binge my way through. And so I'm going to have to do that soon while we're in this quarantine. I'm excited. All right, another book that I got is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Again, another sticker I've been trying to get off. But this book, I have heard nothing but good things, and Kelly won't stop talking about it, so I figure I might as well give it a shot. All right, the next book I got is one that I hadn't planned on getting until I had a discussion with Kelly, actually, while we were at Half Price Books, and she picked up a copy when it first came out. And then on Book Outlet, I found The Grace Year by Kim Leget Leget and I'm not sure how to say that, sorry. And I am so intrigued by this book, but it follows a society where when a girl turns 16, she is sent into basically the woods and then has to fight in order to survive. And they never, they almost never come back. And this follows a girl who does come back. So I'm intrigued by this concept and this idea. It sounds like a combination of Warrior in the Wild and The Hunger Games or something. I don't know. I am so intrigued though. And this cover again is beautiful. The next two books are a series that I thought was only a duology. Turns out it's a trilogy. And so I need to figure out how I can get my hands on the third book. So the first book is Honor Among Thieves, and the second one is Honor Bound, and these are by Rachel Kane and Anne Aguirre. I know very little about these, except for they have really intriguing covers. These were definitely cover buys, and I thought I got a whole series, and I didn't. Um, and I know that they're also science fiction, which I did just finish reading Zodiac, and I am here for any sort of science fiction. And I'm really in that kind of mood now, so I'm hoping that this does not disappoint. Another book that I have been hearing a lot about and decided to pick up because I found a copy is Fire and Heist by Sarah Beth Dorst. And magic and heists. I mean, I can't say no, and there's a dragon, and I had to. And not gonna lie, one of the things that drove me is on the back, what it says is socialite, were dragon, thief. The only thing worth stealing is the truth. I need nothing more to hook me to a book. Like seriously, were dragon? What the heck is that? I want to know. So tell me. We're almost there. Got three books left, guys. The next book is another middle grade that I picked up because I do want to expand my middle grade collection. And that is The Explorer by Catherine Rundell. And I just realized because I didn't think things through. This is the exact same, this is the same author as the one who wrote The Good Thieves. So it's something about her covers and her synopses that just capture my attention. So I have a feeling she's going to be one of my top middle grade authors if this continues. And so I am excited to read this one. I know this one follows a kind of similar idea as to Hatchet where they, there's a plane crash and there's only four survivors and they're all children and they kind of have to figure out how to get home and how to survive in this wilderness. The next book that I have is one that everybody has been waiting for me to buy, I know, and that is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. If you haven't heard about this book, it is a science fiction novel who by the authors who brought us the wonderful world of Illuminae. And this one is is written normally. This is not written like Illuminate is, um, but this one follows a group of basically misfits who get sent out on missions into space from an academy, and I'm quite intrigued by it, and everyone keeps talking about it, and both Callie and Brittany have been raving about it, so I figure I might as well pick it up and give it a shot. So I got it, guys. I'll read it. And the last book that I'm going to show you today is The Tenth Girl by Sarah Faring. Now, I don't know a lot about this, but as I said at the beginning, I am looking to read more diverse genres. And this one is a horror novel. I don't read a lot of horror, but for those of you who know, I am not a Stephen King fan. But I have been looking to try and get into other authors who write horror. And I know that Sarah Faring, that this book is absolutely creepy. I think there's a haunted house, so that is probably one of my favorite tropes. I love haunted houses because I always wanted a haunted house, even when I was little. And so, <laughs> 
I figure why not? We'll give it a shot, see what happens. And that's all I got for you guys today. Those are all of the books that are included in my haul for April. And so now is the perfect time if you enjoyed this video to hit that thumbs up button and to subscribe. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And you can follow down below in our description. There's going to be a list of all of the books I have talked about today because I know there are a lot of them. And then there's also going to be um, all of our links. So our blogs, our Instagram, along with our Goodreads and our book club. So feel free to check those out and I will see you guys next time. Bye!